Hey guys, today I want to go over the latest patch that came out for Vigor on Xbox One. Now this patch actually brings something pretty exciting to the game that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. And that of course is random duos. So before you had to have a teammate, invite them to your game, and then go into a match and a duos match together. But now you can actually queue up for a random duos match. On the screen where you select your encounter, now you can switch between solo and random duos. You can also invite your teammate like you could before and go into a duos match that way. They also added a marker to your teammate so he's easier to distinguish between other players. And they added a feature where if you kill your teammate, if you team kill, you will become a threat instantly which lets other people know your location on the map. So it's kind of a deterrent to shoot your own teammate and try and take their loot. I don't think this is going to completely get rid of team killing in the game. I'd actually like to see them remove friendly fire from the game. Removing friendly fire altogether would help a couple things. It would help people not kill their teammates. It would also help stop people from duplicating their items. If you buy insurance and you die in the match, you get to keep your items. But if your teammate loots your body after you die, he also gets those same items. So it's a way to duplicate your items. I think uh, a way to safeguard against this is maybe your teammate can't loot your own body. That's one way to do it. But another way that they can possibly tone it down a bit is to just remove friendly fire from the game. Let's go over some of the fixes that they mentioned in the patch notes as well. So they fixed an issue that was occurring that a person was not marked as a threat after killing a non-team player. They fixed an issue where interaction was not possible in bushes. There were some audio issues that they fixed as well. And they also fixed the shooting range where Scarecrow's headshots were not working. So you can now one-shot a headshot on a Scarecrow just like you could a real player in the game. They also disabled the rain and snow effect on all optics and they made foliage less penetrable. They made a bug fix for an infinite audio range of unlocking sound for the combination lock, and they increased the threat kill threshold from three to four. So now you have to kill four players in the match before you get marked as a threat, unless you team kill like I said before. I hopped on the game last night and tried out the new duo mode. It took me a few minutes to find a match, but I was able to get in a match with a guy, and right away, in my head, I don't know why I do this, but I hardly ever play with randoms in any game. But playing PUBG, I've never played with randoms before, I've always had teammates, otherwise I just play solo, or play a different game. But with Vigor, I don't have a lot of friends that are playing, so I'm either playing solo, or I'm not playing the game at all. But with this random duo mode that they have, I feel like it's a lot better to play with somebody, because you have backup, you have a person to help you along if you need help. They might steal some loot from you, as this guy was kind of just hogging the loot. I tried to share with him, like, I got some stuff. And I would just like kind of crouch by some loot to tell him, hey, you can have this one. But anytime he got near loot, he just gobbled it up, which is perfectly fine. Um, as long as he didn't shoot me in the back or anything like that to try and steal what I had, I was perfectly fine with him just doing that. But towards the end of the match, we started going towards the airdrop and I noticed somebody got it. So I started heading north to try and cut this guy off. I assumed he was going to go to one of the safe zones that was more to the north, northwest. And sure enough, this guy just bolted down this walkway and I just lit him up and I just grabbed as much loot as possible and started running away. What I didn't realize is both of the airdrops were in there and I can't really share my loot. There's not really a way in Vigor that you can drop something for your teammate. Otherwise, I would have loved to have the chance to drop one of those care packages for my teammate, you know, to share my loot and just make sure that he knows that I'm trying to share with him. So please, please don't shoot me in the back and take everything that I have. But there's only a way to destroy the loot. There's not a way to actually share it. And so I just kept running, hoping that this guy wasn't going to try and turn on me and take my loot. He definitely had the opportunity. So good on him for not doing anything. Obviously, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't team kill in any game on purpose just to take somebody's loot. But you know, there's a lot of people out there that do that. So one thing I would definitely like to see is some way to combat team killing. I don't know how often it's done because like I said, I don't really play with randoms that much and I haven't really played with teammates that much in this game, but some way to combat the team killing because I've heard that it's a problem and then a way to share loot. So if I have a bunch of stuff and I wanna give it to my teammate, a way to drop that on the ground so that they can take it from me. And if for some reason that's in the game and I just completely missed it, I completely missed that update, or you know, I'm just dumb and just don't know how to do it, definitely let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure the only thing that you can do with your inventory right now is just keep it or destroy it. And so really that just wastes everything. I would have loved to take one of those airdrops and give it to my teammate while we were running towards the safe zone. That way I could just share in the riches that I found on that one guy. But let me know what you guys think. Is this something that is enticing to you? Now that you can queue up randomly with other people and get a duos match going, you don't actually have to invite somebody to a match and then queue up. I think this is going to make the game a lot more popular with other players once it goes to the free to play market. Just having that ability to not be out there on your own, play with some random people and make some friends along the way maybe, who knows. 
For me, I think it definitely helps a lot. It makes the game more fun to play with other people, and it makes it less scary, less intimidating. A lot of times when I'm playing solo matches, I'm really cautious, and I play a lot more passive, but if I have a teammate, it kind of makes me more brave, and I can take on encounters and take on fights, just because I know I have somebody watching my back and helping me out. But like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I feel like this is a really good change for the game, and I think once this does go free to play in summer 2019, this is going to be a very popular mode. As always, make sure to like the video if you found this information useful, and subscribe to stay up to date on everything that I publish. Remember to follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description below. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I'll see you later.